A HIGH SCHOOL CHEERLEADER IS MAKING HISTORY JUST BY PUTTING ON THE TEAM UNIFORM. THE Janaire HIGH SCHOOL SENIOR HAS BECOME THE CITY'S FIRST TRANSGENDER CHEERLEADER. NEW TONIGHT, CBS 13'S LEE MARTINEZ HAS HER STORY AND REACTION FROM HER CHEERLEADING DEBUT. Henri Fuentes was tired of being a spectator. I did try out last year. I didn't make it. I feel like I didn't work as hard last year as I did this year. Go, Kyle. Henri's hard work paid off. She made Denaire High School's varsity cheerleading squad. But soon after making the team, Henri made a decision that would also make history in Denaire. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to be under the lights and a skirt, you know, but. Then I finally decided, I was like, no, I want to wear the girl uniform. Born Henry, Henri says she always felt like a girl and would wear female clothes. But she officially started living as a girl this year. I went to school here since I was in second grade, and most of the girls on that squad have been here their whole lives, too. So it's kind of hard, like, oh, well, Henry, physically I'm a boy in a skirt. School officials said it was not an issue to get Henri the uniform she wanted. We're going to do what it takes to make sure our students are fully supported here in Denaire. Henri is Denaire's first transgender cheerleader. She says her team and classmates support her and she feels comfortable cheering in front of her school. However, she admits feeling uneasy traveling with the team to other schools. I get sometimes a little nervous because they're not people I see every, every Friday, you know. But she doesn't let her fears stop her from finally living her dream, and she would never let down her team. I'm gonna jump whether I feel good or not because I'm a cheerleader. <laughs> well, she says she plans to attend junior college next year and would like to continue cheering for a college team. How about that?